the myth, the car, the legend, the legend being the L78. That's a 396, 375 horsepower engine. That's the mightiest motor you could get in one of these without special ordering a Yanko. Uh, and this car is documented by General Motors of Canada. They have the original microfilm. They can send you the paperwork, which we have, saying that this car was born just like you see it here. There's no question. This is a factory L78 Le Mans Blue uh, four-speed. Nut and bolt restored the factory specs. It's a really special car. Why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. You can also go to volocars.com. We have over 200 premium classic cars for sale right now, and that's where you'll find a price tag on this one and all the others, along with a monthly finance option. So let's check it out. Body's amazing, absolutely straight. I don't see a ripple. I don't see shrinkage. I don't see a bump, nothing. It winds up square and flush, absolutely clean all the way down to the bottom. There are some pimples on this pillar here. So probably more in the paint, more so than uh, you know any bad body work. This is all clean and straight. Running down the sail panels here, there's no issues. That's all really nice. Quarter panels are excellent. This is all really nice, fits super nice, straight as can be, no rust, no damage, all really good. Coming up here is all nice and clean. A little, little dimple, little dent, no chip in the paint. We'll see if we can get the dent guy, if he can get to it and, and fix that. Clean, shuts like a new car, straight. This is all excellent. The white stripe properly put on, proper dimensions, painted on. Original Le Mans blue car, no vinyl top. That's an attractive you know, color combination with the white stripe. It is laid out evenly, uh, polished very smooth and glossy. All the chrome and trim was replaced. The ice cube trays, the emblem is sparkling has T3, the correct headlights, the grill does have a crack right in the middle. Almost doesn't look like a crack. It almost looks like it belongs there. Uh, spoiler down there, but all this up here looks excellent. Has the correct uh, antenna, all new glass all the way around. Emblems are sparkling. The windows fit real nice. Door handles sparkling. Now you might have noticed the wheels, we call them the poverty wheels, dog dish hubcaps uh, with reproduction, Firestone Redline tires. That's all in excellent shape. It's got a rear spoiler, little weird imperfection. I think it was in the spoiler before they even painted it. Little weird mark. This is all sparkling, has the SS black tail panel. This all looks great. New back window. Why don't we open it up? I'm going to show you the interior. There's a real cool surprise in there, and we'll talk a little bit more about the legend that's under the hood. All right, you're going to be delighted with the trunk compartment. This is painted slick and shiny. It's got the stickers. Jam is just as slick as the car. Weather strip looks like new. Look how clean this trunk compartment is. Super nice metal, very nicely spatter painted. I can see the wiring and housings and latches all look like new. Matching tire. The rim is painted. Uh, reproduction red line. The nubs are still on the tread. Uh, when they go the extra and do the spare to match, it tells me something. Jack is all restored, even as a lug wrench. It's like a brand new trunk compartment. We have a buy it now button on our website. See something you really like? Lock it in, talk to the salesman. If it doesn't work out, there's no harm done. The so jams are painted really slick and shiny. Uh, door panels, armrests, it's all new. It's a no frills car. And we're going to get to a surprise in a minute. But everything does look like new. The knobs, the vents, the paint finish, the chrome you know, around the gauges, the gauges themselves. Uh, all nice and clean and fits spot on the money. Heater controls, AM radio works. 
Now here's the surprise. Somebody ordered the L78 motor, no frills, no fancy wheels, no center console, but he wanted an 8-track player, and it was probably really expensive back then. And this car was born with it. It's on the GM paperwork. I don't have an 8-track to test it to see if it works, but I thought that was really cool that somebody ordered that and nothing else. So this is all clean. Now, along with the 8-track stereo comes these factory kick uh kick panel speakers as well as speakers in the rear shelf so the carpet's like new and it fits real nice the original Muncie shifter not the hearse it's the correct Muncie shifter the seat belts are in excellent shape seats are upholstered and cushioned really nice everything back here is real done you got seat belts side panels all like brand new all around the back windows, trimmed out real nice. Headliners as tight as a drum. You got matching visors. The backs of the seats are real nice. The mirror looks like new. Steering wheel it looks like new. Even up under the dash a little bit, I was taking a look at all like new. This is a complete disassemble and uh, restoration. And again, documented right from General Motors themselves. So the 375 horse engine was actually 425 horse uh, power. They underrated it. And this has solid lifters. I think it's 11 to 1 compression. Uh, it's got big square port uh, heads uh, matched to a square port aluminum intake. That's all factory stuff, all GM stuff. Uh, it has the open element, correct air cleaner. Uh, it's supposed to have the number matching car, but I didn't verify that myself yet, but that's what I'm told. It's a dual feed Holly. Uh, distributor in back looks like new. It has date coded reproduction spark plug wires. The heater box, firewall, look how clean it is. GM clamps and hoses. You might be wondering what all this here is. That's the smog equipment. People took that and threw it in the garbage. It takes a couple of horsepower away. This has it. I'm also told it's number matching. Honestly, I don't know how to check numbers on a smog pump. I never have, but I'm told it is the correct uh, number match. We got spring clamp battery cables, a Delco battery topper. All the metal finishes are smooth. Got the right shroud. New wiring. Does have power steering hiding down there? Uh, looks like, <clears throat> yeah, it's got power brakes with cad cadmium plated booster. Wiper motor looks like new. The firewall tag is there with the codes, paint codes, uh, hood insulation. Squirters are hooked up. So, this is not the VIN number match engine. The pad is clean. Uh, so, maybe when they rebuilt the engine, the, the pad got. Uh, ground off, but it is correct. The dates, the codes, everything make it proper. So this is very you know, correct and authentic. Now Caleb's going to take you for a drive and show you what the legend is all about. Absolute gorgeous car. We are in the 68 L78 Camaro. It's not every day you get to drive one of these. Uh, so we are taking her around the block. We're going to show you how she drives. So more true to the origin restoration. Uh, so it's going to feel like you're driving an older car, but feels super solid. Uh, suspension feels good over the bumps. Power steering works nice. Shifting through the gears nicely. The trans feels smooth. Brakes feel really good. They're not pulling left or right. I don't feel them dragging at all. Try the turn signal. That lights up. Let's put this baby to the test to see what she's got. The four speed. The 
This thing's a blast. Lifts up the front end. You get the rush from shifting gears. We're cruising 55 miles an hour, no problem. I don't feel any play in the steering, no vibrations, no shakes. It's a nice driving car. I got the heat on, that works. Horn works as well. Try the wipers, those cancel. Well, they don't suck back down all the way, so you gotta turn it at the right time. And other than that, She's good to go. The radio does work, the tape player does, not the AM FM though. I couldn't get that to work. That's all right, you can still grab some old, or actually, actually that's an eight track, so grab some old tracks and throw them in and listen to your favorite jams. There you have it, the 68 Camaro. So every component was removed from under the car, including the subframe. Uh, the floors are beautiful, clean metal. They've all been painted, probably a little bit glossier than they would have been at the factory, but it looks really nice. All the suspension and steering was completely rebuilt before it was put back together. And it looks like it was put back to stock. There's no, no QA1 coilovers, nothing like that under there. It's all restored to stock. Uh, even the exhaust system looks stock with the transverse muffler. That's a, a sideways muffler with the two tailpipes coming out of it. Uh, it has disc brakes in front, drum and back. All the lines, hoses, cables all look like they've been replaced. The fuel system looks like it's all replaced. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless Chevy orange. The starter, the fuel pump look correct, all nice and clean. The Muncie four-speed is the M21 in this car, and it does have the VIN number of the car is stamped right on the transmission. Drive shaft is restored. In back, it has its original 12-volt Posi with 355 gears. It's dated uh, just about perfectly to this car. 355 is a nice gear. It's still quick. You can still drive it down the road. Some of these guys that ordered that motor, they got you know 411s and uh, it puts a lot of RPMs on the motor when you're cruising. So this is a nice setup. It's a muscle car, it's rare, it's legendary. You can take it to any car show, be proud of it. You can enjoy this car. You have to hit some garage sales, look for some eight tracks. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions like, how do you get this to your door? How do you get it financed? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.